Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I will be showing you how to extend C drive on any Windows PC. So I'm on Windows 10 here and this is a very easy tutorial just basically taking your unused D drive and putting it into the C drive. So which, what I'm going to be doing is taking this 239 gigabyte and putting it into my C drive to extend the storage on it. Now sometimes this can happen if you are uh, setting up a new computer and it asks you to partition the C drive and sometimes that may occur um, even without you doing it just so Windows can preserve some settings in that second drive. But in my case I don't have anything in here and it's just a waste of space. Now before going through with this I would suggest going into your D drive and making sure nothing's there. If there is something you want to back it up and put it on a USB flash drive because of your data will be lost um, with this so that's just a disclaimer and what you want to do now is go to this website it will be in the description below and hover over download partition wizard and then download the free edition and download that to your desktop and then go through the setup and just install mini tool partition wizard through the setup. It'll give you some other softwares that you can install. Uh, I don't recommend doing that because it's you probably don't need it anyway, but just install this partition wizard. What you want to do after that is go into it and then you will see this screen. And then you want to look for that D drive or whatever the letter is for that drive that you want to put into the C drive and you just want to go over it and then what you want to do is format it and then just format it uh, so it will delete everything off that drive. Then you want to right click and then you want to click on split. And this is only if you're going to uh, save some storage in that D drive just for other purposes. So I'm just going to leave 15 gigabytes in that D drive. So that's what my new partition size will be. And I'm just going to click OK. So it will create a new drive called F here. And then I'm going to take this D drive and I'm going to click delete on that. So it will show as unallocated space. Because it's unallocated, that means you can now put it into the C drive. So right click on the C drive here and then you want to click on extend. And then make sure it is on the unallocated uh, take free space from tab here so uh, now you can just move the slider all the way over and then click OK and there you go the D drive is gone now you can come to the F drive and then you can change the letter to the D drive if you want and then I'm also going to format this one as well and then you can make a new label for that uh, new drive that if you did create it so I'm just going to label it data with 15 gigabytes on there and then all you want to do is just click on apply click yes and then wait till this is finished so it may take some time depending on the speed of the computer but mine should be a couple seconds here So once it's done, you just want to click OK, and then you can go into your file explorer and then refresh it, and then now you will see OS, and now I have uh, 661 gigabytes. Before I had uh, less than that. So um, if you do see something blue in here and there's nothing there, you can just right, right click and then click Format using the Windows tool, and then you can relabel it if you want. Allocation unit size, I will just click Default allocation size and then just click on start and then OK and then wait for that to be done and then click OK and then you can close it and then now that that little blue tab will be gone so that is it for this tutorial that is how to extend the C drive given a new partitioned drive that is not being used anymore so if you have any questions comments concerns leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to them as soon as possible so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.